Hello, it's M, the beginner crafter, and I'd like to show you what I did in the last two weeks when it comes to different crafts. Well, this time it's only one craft, diamond painting, and a bit of crocheting. So maybe let's start with the diamond painting to have it over with. And that's the universe. This is something that I've had for a while and I guess I showed you this bit. Now I'm into half of the second row, which is good. I have to say I was hoping I would get a bit more done of uh, this row this time, uh, but life happened and I didn't have um, like the mental capability to take, uh, to take care of it. Still, it's a half of the whole picture. It's not just a half of the second row. It's the half of the whole picture, which is a very nice achievement and um, progress. So I'm still happy about it. Also because it's finally the Earth, let's say. <laughs> uh, so the planet with actually some things going on, as you can see in the small picture here. So that's the certain control one or the center one, uh, the earth. And that's what I'm most happy about. Sorry for shaking the camera a bit. Just let me move you slightly. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's where I've gotten so far. Um, also, the temperature wasn't helping much <laughs> because the wax that you use to stick things using this pen um, is very, very soft because it's so warm. So those diamond paintings just really got pushed into the pen very much uh, before I, you know, adjusted the, the strength. Um, so it wasn't so easy at first to actually get them stuck into the picture. That's why um, it took me longer than I expected. Um, but it worked. <laughs> Let's have it like that. It worked and I'm in half and I'm very happy. Um, so yeah, this, this part of diamond painting is uh, done. Like I said, I was hoping to have the whole earth done and I think this is the next stage because I, um, I think it's more or less here when it, where it finishes. I mean, it, it is a bit further, but I was more like hoping to be here. So this is the one uh, part that I wasn't able to do, but it's still not bad, I think. <laughs> it's, you know, getting its shape and it's really nice. So here's the diamond painting done. Um, and let's move on to crochet then. So first I did a really big chunk of the meadow bag. Uh, basically, I finished the whole body of of the bag. Uh, yes, uh, it still needs to have the ends weaved in. Um, and that's sort of part of crocheting that it needs done. The rest is more something that my mom will have to help me with. And it is sewing in uh, the buckram. Uh, so something that would stiffen this up and strengthen this up because um, into this part uh, the strap will be sewed uh, and then the lining and that will be something that uh, I will need the help of my mum. Uh, what I have left to do is the strap and those thingies that actually connect the strap to the bag using the D-rings, for example. Um, so there's still some crocheting to be uh, done for this bag, uh, but the main body is finished. Um, I liked working on it. It has an amazing design. I did mess up a little bit uh, here. As you can see, it should be blue and not this green showing up. And I wanted to make the larger version. Uh, however, I didn't notice that uh, this larger portion 
uh, was actually around here. Um, so I went according to the pattern, but this larger version wasn't in the pattern. It wasn't like written, it was in the diagram. And I just didn't notice that basically what it was was repeating like this section. And I only took notice when I was finished here. So I decided I am not going to rip this off. I'll just make one more row. It's not as tall as it would be if I uh, used the diagram because I think it was over an inch or three centimeters uh, taller and I only have one row so it's I don't think it's half a centimeter even um, but it is bigger than the basic design <laughs> um, and I think it is actually a bit smaller than it was supposed to be because I crochet very tightly um, but I still it makes quite a cute bag it is quite small I mean, as you can see, um, I can fit my two hands into it, but they're not very, very uh, loose. Um, so, yeah, it will fit a mobile phone, um, a wallet, keys, tissues, you know, the, the essentials. Um, but it's more like, you know, for a walk or things like that. So it's not a big accessories bag, but it's still very nice and I'm glad I did it. I've learned a few things making it um, and I do recommend it if you are meh, not a total beginner uh, or at least an adventurous beginner that is, you know, not very squirmish about making mistakes and frogging and just ugh, having to do everything again. Uh, the pattern, it's quite long. Every row is quite long so you need to have patience <laughs> uh, because it's not very easy to remember the pattern and just get the rhythm going. So that's the only thing that I can say that it's more negative about the bag but uh, I think it's it's great so you can definitely try and make it. You can use different colors, you can just use one color, it will still look great, so, yep, fantastic. Another thing that I did was the pouch from Bella Coco Crochet Society subscription box. Uh, I finished it completely, last time I only showed you the, the main body and now I have it sewed together, sewn together. And I added the strap to close it. Um, again, I think I made a smaller pouch than it was supposed to be because I made the cord according to the pattern. So it's a hundred stitches long. And according to the pattern, you should all only be able to go around the pouch once. At least that's what I see in the pictures. I can do it twice. Of course, when it's empty, but still, <laughs> I can do it twice. Uh, and I guess that that wasn't the original idea. Uh, but still, it looks great. Um, again, I did learn something. I never did this kind of chevron crochet before. Um, and I never thought I would be able to then make it, you know, straight like here. So that's something new and, and great. I think I'm going to use, um, for storing all the um, Crochet Society boxes accessories. So the crochet hooks that you get, um, the stitch markers, uh, you know, things like that, that, um, are kind of useful, it's good to have them uh, in one place, but may not be like first um, thing that you need uh, because I have other crochet hooks and other um, stitch markers and stuff like that. Uh, but I think I will keep a lot of those things here uh, also just because it is a crochet society thing, so yeah, it just works well together. And another thing that I started doing, 
also from the Bella Coco Crochet Society boxes is this. <laughs> this will be actually uh, this Yeti here and I've started with the arm. And it made me realize, I mean, it made me remember why I don't like doing amigurumi. It's because it's just so small, those things, that when you go in the round, it's just very difficult to find the loop to go into. And I think I've already made the mistake, because as far as I know, I'm on a row with eight stitches, and only then there's a decrease. Um... But I somehow managed to make seven stitches and I can't find the loop that I skipped. So I had to take a break and I guess we'll work on it some more later. But this starts with a magic ring, which I hate doing because I never can. However, this time I had the help of something that was added to magic society box <laughs> crochet society boxes number 14 and this is a stitch guide and it shows you how to make a lot of stitches um, and the first page says magic ring it took me a while to understand what's going on here I mean the instructions are pretty clear it's just that I couldn't uh, figure out which way to put the working end and the end end, if you can call it like that. Um, so when I focused on the illustration, that helped me. Not reading it, uh, just looking at the illustration. Uh, later on, I realized that it actually is here also. I just didn't pay attention to the photos uh, in the booklet. Uh, but this one came in handy. So very nice addition, very nice idea. Uh, to have these. Maybe it could be a little bit smaller just because it's it's quite big and I'm not sure it is so so handy <laughs> when going somewhere for example but it is a great idea because um, especially magic ring that's something that for the life of me I can never remember how to do and I avoid doing projects with magic ring um, as long as I can. So maybe this will help me like figure out and not fear it anymore. And another thing that was in this box that is very interesting is this. I don't know if you can tell what this is. I was... <laughs> Um, yeah, I had no idea when I saw it. It looks like glasses, at least to me. I wear glasses, so to me it looks like glasses. But no. It's the scissors. <laughs> and they work. I checked, uh, they work. They don't look very um, sharp, I think, at least... When I saw them, I was like, um, but they won't work. They're like, you know, toy kind. But they do work fine. I did uh, actually use them to cut uh, the yarn in this um, Yeti uh, Amigurumi. And they work. So, also a very nice idea. Uh, I don't know who just thought of it, but... Um, yeah, great idea, definitely. So, uh, very nice addition to the boxes as well. So, um, if you wonder about buying a subscription box for crocheting, I think Crochet Society is one of the boxes to have a look at because they have interesting ideas. They always have three designs um, to choose from. You can usually do, I think, two or three. I never did three, um, so I can't say for sure that there is enough yarn for three, but for two, it should definitely be enough. Okay, and for that's it for the crafts. Um, I didn't do any bullet journaling this time because um, it's August. It's 
vacation, I don't start to work until September. Well, I will have some meetings at the end of August because we need to prepare for September. Um, but I decided just there's no point, um, really. And I bought a happy planner and I will be moving into the happy planner. So right now I can show you the unboxing of, well, not just a happy planner, um, but I bought some stationery as well. So enjoy. So it's time for another unboxing. This time it's a bit of stationery, but uh, the most that I want is the happy planner. I can't wait to see what it looks like and can't wait to just be able to try and work with it. So oh, let's hope this works. I'm not really good at opening stuff, but here goes. It is it is a large box. I did um get quite a lot so this is what the inside looks like and I can already see the happy planner oh oh that's a nice thing <laughs> craftsalier hole <laughs> oh nice that's something you can you can win <laughs> if you take a picture of what you bought and it's a nice <laughs> card as well. Nice idea, I have to say. Okay, let's get rid of the plastic stuff that makes things a little safer. Okay, so here's the planner. Wow, it's heavy. For some reason, I did. I never imagined how big and how heavy the the planners can be and this is the 18 month planner as you can see and uh, yes yeah, yes it's the classic one and it definitely is the right size for me it's um, bigger than my hand uh, but not too big um, welcome <laughs> that is nice um, I'll just, oh, I want to have a look. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll look later. Yeah, we'll see later how that goes. It's big, so it uh, may be difficult to work with. <laughs> okay, I got some... Really? Did I get so many things for this <laughs> happy planner? Okay, this is not for the happy planner. This is a micron pen, water-based ink cool oh it is uh, black because I was for a moment I was kind of bought a lot of white pens that I'll never have the use of but no uh, it's just um, a lot of uh, pens which I wanted because uh, I only have three Pigma Micron pens and they're absolutely good but uh, there's just not uh, enough range for me uh, maybe nine is an overkill for me because I haven't really used uh, a lot of those um, markers yet. So it might be an overkill, but we'll see. And there's a brush pen, I hope. Or at least it looks something like a brush pen. And uh, I want to learn how to do that. How to write nicely. Okay, so these are the stickers. Let's see. Oh, they're nice. However, hmm, I'm not sure if they are not for the big one. We'll see later if they fit, but but at least those kind of look like like they're too big. No, they. I'm oh, sorry. They could fit. Okay, no, everything fine. <laughs> yeah. And they are the student version, which I like. Because uh, I think I'll be learning something new. 
this year. Uh, these are accessories. Oh, I want to see what the accessories are. And then I'll have fun when establishing my planner, which I'll show you later. Okay, so, oh, how do you take it out? Oh, that's way. Okay, so, there are stickers. Today and a rose. Oh, and there's, oh, I did. Okay, there's a clip. I'll be honest. Uh, from the description, I thought uh, the clip paper clip would be a little more hmm, how to call that unique different <laughs> and it's it's just a paper clip with a piece of fabric on it I mean it is a nice idea it, it looks nice it just um, I saw a lot of you have really interesting shaped clips and that's how why I thought uh, this one also would be one. <laughs> but okay. Uh, so there's this is the folder with pockets, and there are a few stickers in there. That's nice. Oh, and this is something I really was hoping for. So the divider with top. Um, what's it called? Top bar. That's what I was really hoping for. So, yay, very yay. And um, some paper. Happy notes paper. So, yeah. I'm quite happy with this. And it will find its use. Let's put it back. Maybe not necessarily in the paper. Um, this is for teachers. Uh, so you can write names of students and uh, whether they gave you things or just whatever you want, <laughs> I guess. Their attendance, um, how active they were, if they gave you the paper they were due, what grade they got from a test. I guess you can just do whatever you want. And there are 40 sheets, um, which is nice. Uh, definitely will be enough for a few years for me and oh yeah the stargazer because I bought a stargazer um, planner and these are uh, stickers for this one they look lovely I have to say um, I don't necessarily see the need for those one. They are a bit too artistic. And I prefer stickers that are actually practical. So quotes are also probably not for me on those crystals. I mean, they are beautiful. It's just, I'll have to learn how to work with them. These I can actually find a use for as bullet dots, like to show something that is necessary. Uh, but, you know, Happy Planner community is quite big on YouTube, so I'll watch a few videos and see how they use those stickers and uh, find the use for them, so could be nice. Then markers, Stabilo markers, uh, so cool. Highlighters, actually, because I might need them as well. And the last thing is, I don't know what. I mean, it looks like a towel, but I definitely did not order a towel. Maybe it's a free freebie <laughs> from the company. Um, it is super soft. Super soft. Um, I don't know how to describe this fabric, uh, but it's one of those really nice uh, 
fabrics kind of reminds me of those uh, sports ones um so maybe it's the type of fabric that uh you know you can easily get rid of water from and just let me show you what it looks like although it's huge so i'm not sure if i'll be able to show you the full thing uh but it's It is something like this. <laughs> I really won't be able to show everything. Uh, it's by... Yeah, Mi Tienda de Arte. Uh, Craftelier by, I guess, Mimi Estudio. Or... I don't know how to read that precisely. Uh, but yes, this is the, the shop I bought from and I think this is a like free gift that they give you If you bought from them Okay, so let's move on to setting up the pl Well um, Let's not get too fast on uh, setting up the planner because uh, well, I want to do it closer to September when I will know more or less how to work on it And also I think the video will be just way too long for it. So I'll do the setting up of the happy planner um, Sometime in the future not too far future because I'm too excited <laughs> to work on it uh, I really wanted to have the happy planner for the last few years. So um I will work on it as soon as I can, uh, but I want to have it closer to September because I need some sections in there um, for my work as well and I would just like to set it up finally the way I should. So um, sorry to get your hopes too high if you wanted to see the setting up of the Happy Planner, but I will make such a video and I will show it uh, probably in about two weeks uh, when the crochet and crafts a video is due or I will make a separate video of it uh, if I think that otherwise the video would be too long uh, to make it crafts and happy planner uh, together because this one is already very long and I'm not sure if that's the size of the videos the length of the videos I want to make so uh, yeah I'll make it some other time Okay, uh, thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I always like it. Uh, if you want to see, uh, for example, how I set up my happy planner and you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to the channel because then you'll get a notification. Uh, you'll also be able to see all the other stuff that I do, including uh, cross-stitching, so floss tube, that will happen uh, next week. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.